We're here in the main switch room of Mananda Place in Darwin. Today we're going to talk about electrical non-utility meters and what's expected of a neighbour's assessor when these are used in a rating. It is important to observe any non-utility meters that are going to be used to calculate the building's rated energy consumption. Things to look for will be any meter labelling or identification of the meter to compare with meter reading records, as well as information to help confirm the coverage of the meter, such as DB schedules or switchboard labelling. A photograph of the meter would be valuable for documentation purposes, as well as marking up its location on the single line diagram if it's not on there already. It is important to confirm if electrical non-utility meters are direct connect or CT meters. This will help determine the validation requirements for the meter. It won't always be clear if a meter has current transformers just from looking at it. A single line diagram or other as-built electrical documentation may be able to help confirm. The site's electrical contractor may also be able to assist with information or physical inspection of the meter. Manufacturers' data sheets for the meter are often available online, and these may also help determine if the meter is direct connect or has CTs. It is the responsibility of the neighbour's assessor to identify which meters require validation. Typically, the assessor will notify the client of which meters need to be validated and the client will engage their electrician to perform the validations. The electrician will complete the meter validation forms based on their findings. The neighbour's assessor reviews the forms for completeness or any obvious errors. Meters that are validated and confirmed to be correct can be used for inclusions or exclusions to the rated energy. Those found to be incorrect should be rectified for use in future ratings. That concludes our overview of requirements for electrical non-utility meters in neighbour's ratings. Remember to check the neighbour's rules for metering and consumption for all the details.